Now we are going to look at, you know, quickly assessing data quality. And these are the data that I am working with, the two house CSV. And as you can see, you know, it's a mixed bag of goods or rather a mixed data set where you have a lot of, well, you have quantitative variables, you have qualitative variables. And over here, I can see that it seems this particular column, Ali, it has a lot of NANs, you know, uh, empty values and these are the kind of data we can hope to encounter in real life so I'm going to scroll down and come on to this particular package called klib which is very good for assessing data quality so pip install klib import klib and the first thing it lets us do is to assess where are the missing values so obviously you know tells us how many values are there? It's a big data set, 116.8K values. 7,000 values are missing. And the maximum row where the, ma okay, there's one column where 100% of the values are missing. I can drop it and the maximum number of rows are where you have missing values are 19%. And then you have a visualization. But in order to get this, we do Caleb dot missing val underscore plot now the good thing about Caleb is that it can help us remove well it, it carries out basic data cleaning and one things we one thing I want to do is to drop the empty and virtually empty columns so again there are techniques where you can impute missing values but if 90% of your values are missing then I think it's better to drop that column so df underscore clean calib dot data cleaning df. So now it's going to carry out cleaning df cleaned calib data cleaning. So it tells me that I still have 2737 NAs left and maybe now I can so you know explore them and carry out data imputations on the left on the rest of the columns. I haven't dropped any rows, but three columns have been dropped. So df underscore cleaned data. And now as you can see, you can't see the column for Ali anymore. And it allows for preliminary data exploration, say by exploring positive and negative correlations. So, you know, here you have positive correlations. So 0.8 and going down to all the way to and over here you have the negative correlations, you know, minus 0.4. And one thing about, this will only happen between the numerical columns. And one thing about exploring the correlations are that as we build predictive models, you'll have the option of dropping highly correlated variables. But you know, anyway, let's just compute Caleb dot cor underscore plot well, df cleaned and not false fig size fifteen twelve and now I can split everything into positive and negative. I just add another argument. Split is equal to positive, which will give me a positive, the positive correlations and split negative, the negative correlations. And I can also explore categorical data. Okay, this categorical data has exploration has turned extremely messy. If I had fewer columns, what would work well is Caleb dot cat underscore plot df dot clean the clean data set and I can then you know get the categorical then I can explore the categorical data.